Some of the biggest PvP news ever dropped this Wednesday when data miners discovered that boars are getting a visual update in patch 9.1. But the reason that you're actually here is because data miners also discovered another potentially huge change when they found gear with item level that scales in PvP. This was met with positive reactions among some pro players, especially after the nightmare of BFA's gearing, where Mythic Plus was a requirement for competitive PvP. But will this new system save PvP gearing? We know some of you might be excited at this change, but is it enough to save the gearing system? Well, let's take a look at exactly what changes are coming and what they might mean for the PvP scene. But before we jump into that, we have a question for you. What do you think is the biggest problem with PvP gearing right now? Will this eye level fix have a positive impact on how you gear your character? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to stay up to date on the meta and all the important changes when the patch hits, be sure to check out skillcap.com slash wow, where we've got a massive library of class courses and arena commentaries being uploaded every week by our team of rank one gladiators and professional players. Anyway, as of Wednesday afternoon, Blizzard confirmed what the data miners discovered, that PvP items in Season 2 will have a higher eye level in instanced PvP. This means that all of your gear that you acquire in PvP will be noticeably better than most gear you can obtain from dungeons and raids. The highest eye level from Mythic Dungeons and the first eight bosses in Mythic Sanctum of Domination will be 252, with Duelist level PvP gear at 259 in instanced PvP. The only thing that matches its eye level are the last two bosses in the Mythic Raid. This change seems good on the surface, but what are its potential consequences? Well, one advantage to this system is that it ensures that PvP gear will be the best in slot for PvP. A similar system was in place during Warlords of Draenor, and it made PvP gearing incredibly streamlined. If you want the best PvP gear, all you need to do was PvP. On the opposite end of the spectrum, BFA pushed the limit on how extreme PvP gearing could get, with the best gear coming mostly from RNG drops in Mythic Dungeons. This was an incredibly frustrating system for many players as PvE gearing became an essential part of competitive PvP. This new change in 9.1 will help to solidify the role of PvP gear in PvP and make the gearing process more straightforward, but does it have any potential consequences? Well, one potential drawback is that it might hurt PvP participation. Shadowlands had some of the highest participation in years at the start of the expansion, which was partially motivated by the fact that the best in slot weapons in PvE were initially only obtainable by acquiring 2400 rating in RBGs or arena. This encouraged raiders to participate in high-level arenas as they were looking to get the elite weapons in order to push raid content. Guilds like Complexity Limit had multiple players on their main raid team actively participating in high-rated arena in order to get the best possible gear. One potential consequence of this change is that there might be no incentive for competitive PvEers to queue arena, and that might hurt participation in the long run. But maybe I'm just being a bit too pessimistic here. So I want to know what you all think. Are you excited about this eye-level change in PvE? Do you think this will make gearing more straightforward? Let us know in the comments below. All right, moving on, one of the biggest issues in PvP gearing right now is the disparity between freshly leveled characters and well-progressed characters in the middle of the season. It is no surprise that the conquest grind can be incredibly brutal, with 2v2 and 3v3 awarding minimal conquest, catching up on gear in the middle of the season is a massive undertaking. Even for rank 1 players who have heaps of talent to queue with, the grind is still a pain. The versatility difference between a fresh 60 and a 226 eye level player is massive, and without a better catch-up system, this gap might get worse and worse. Some players have suggested changes like being able to send honor to your alts or increasing the amount of conquest you gain per win. Either one of these changes would definitely make gearing easier, so hopefully Blizzard has some solution for this problem with the patch. We want to know what you all think though. How has your experience been so far this season when it comes to gearing alts? Do you think there should be a better conquest catch-up system? Let us know in the comments below. Next up, if you're tired of grinding Torghast every week, this next change is for you as legendary items will now be upgradable using craftable items. The new item called Vestige of Origins has been data mined and it is a craftable with blacksmithing, jewel crafting, leatherworking, or tailoring. It will allow you to upgrade existing legendary items without needing soul ash. This means that you won't have to choose between crafting a new legendary or upgrading an old one, which is a really welcome change considering there will be new covenant specific legendaries coming in the next patch. I am definitely personally looking forward to this change. While I don't mind the occasional Torghast run, it does get quite exhausting exhausting very quickly, especially across a bunch of characters. If you have any other ideas for what Blizzard would do with this existing legendary system, what would they be? 
Anyway, for now, we'll just have to see what is in store for the rest of PTR. It looks like Blizzard is trying to find solutions to PvP gearing problems, but are they enough? Once again, we want to keep you up to date on this patch, so we'll keep you informed on any important changes that happen on the PTR. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to stay up to date on any future changes, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. That way, you'll never miss an upload. As always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.